Well, I have my stuff back from this uh, hippie thief. Get some shoes. They have fair trade coffee, microbrewed craft beers, and something called paleo crepes. I bet the dockers just go crazy for paleo crepes. Oh yeah, they have very specific dietary needs of paleo crepes. This must be where the students come to squander their student loans. On paleo crepes. They have fair trade coffee. I bet the doc. This must be where the student. It's a nice view. Hmm. There's a briny breeze coming in off the sea. A temptation to just jump in and swim off to the horizon is, well, I wouldn't say it's not there. It's a little bit there. Look at those fancy apartments. I bet that's where all the TV stars and pro wrestlers live. The Devil's Cut. Cool name. The Devil's Cut? For a microbrewery coffee shop? Paleo crepe place? The DC is an authentic cafe bar and community space. <laughs> if you say so. If you say so. Maybe we can get a cup of coffee. That's right, because the old man said that his coffee was crap. And we needed instant coffee. We didn't need the real good coffee. Hello? Ugh. Oh man, what a night. It, it can't be. Hopper? Leroy. Hey, Leroy made it. How did you get out of Yelltown? Well, after you left, I kinda had a little rest. Remember that old tin bathtub? I told you to stop sleeping under that stinky old bathtub. That bathtub saved my damn life. I wake up next day and there's dead bodies, yellow suits. Oh God, must have been horrible. How did you get to Port Nicola? I walked damn near all the way, rolling and tumbling through hedges and ditches. Some hick farmer took a shot at me in Greystone. Can you believe that? I actually do believe that. I'm real glad you made it, Leroy. Jeez, but I saw things along the way. I think the farmer said that he saw a beast of some kind that he shot at. Poor Leroy. What did you see? Hear about our Buddhist hill? They got it same as Yelltown. I was there. Same yellow suits. They're the ones who done it, Hob. The yellow suits. I know, Leroy. I saw them, too. You can't tell no one about it or they'll get you as well. Do like me. Keep quiet and just ship out of town. Well, it's not like it's uh, not tempting, Leroy, but we're trying to fight them and we're gonna win. Are you working in Port Nicola? I signed on with Cargo East. I'll be on a container ship come tomorrow, but I just miss her so much. What? Who? My junkyard hop! I'll never see her again! Don't say that. I'm sure you'll see your beloved junkyard when this is all over. Still missing the old junkyard? Uh-huh. I'm ready to ship out. I got my harbor pass and everything, but I left my heart back in that Yeltown junkyard. You're a poet, Leroy. I gotta go. Hey, Hop! I'm sure glad you made it out of Yelltown. Yeah, because it was a damn massacre. A load of napkins from Bayer Catering. Looks like they got delivered recently. A fresh delivery from Bayer Catering. Mmm, -hmm. these look good. Can I get this orange? Yeah, go ahead. What, for free? What a great place. Il Capo. We'll make you a coffee you can't refuse. I like that slogan. The coffee here is made from Il Capo brand beans. I already took one piece of fruit. Who am I? Richard Simmons? Richard Simmons? You know, the, the fitness guy from TV. Oh, I don't have a TV. <laughs> well, you can see him on YouTube or whatever streaming service you have. They sure have lots of different milks here. Soya milk, rice milk, goat milk, almond milk. I hate to think what they do to the cows to get all those. Yeah, you never think about the cows. <laughs> How did they get the rice milk? The Carbon Neutral Ceramics Company. The yeah. coffee cups here are made by Carbon Neutral Ceramics. I took an interest in the local economy. Excuse me. What can I get ya? What can I get ya? Do you like Port Nicola? Sure do. I moved here from Dunsville three years ago and I've never looked back. This place is everything. Artistic, exciting, multicultural. 
You want guacamole bagels with sushi at 3 a.m.? Come to Port Nicola. Don't you miss the peace and quiet of a small town? I never had a whole lot of peace back in Dunsville. Fair enough. That sounds like a good deal. Guacamole bagels. I don't know. Can I get something to drink? You look like you could use one of our fine filter coffees. No thanks, I hate coffee. Well, I did just sleep for a week. Well, I did just sleep for a week. Wow. Must have been one hell of a hangover. You definitely need a coffee then. That'll be seven bucks. Seven dollars? Don't you think overpriced hipster coffee is a bit cliched? What? Never. Although it's a little expensive. Seven bucks? Are you kidding me? I ought to call the cops. If high-quality artisanal coffee is a crime, build my gallows high, baby. God damn it. Here you go. Come back soon. I have to sell a kidney first. Excuse me. What can I get ya? Isn't it super expensive to live in the big city? Yeah. The rent is ridiculous. But you can get by if you give up luxuries like smoke alarms and working toilets. Jeez. I just don't see the attraction. But you can be whoever you want to be in Port Nicola. That's the attraction. And it's worth all the toilets in the world. I disagree. Toilets are a pretty, pretty important thing to have. Have you heard about Yelltown Fever? Who hasn't? Pretty scary, right? I suppose it's lucky it appeared in the middle of nowhere instead of the city. I don't know. It's starting to seem like a missed opportunity to me. Crap, you're from Yelltown, right? Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean anything by it. I better go. See ya! Excuse me. What can I get? I better go. See ya. See ya. Well, the coffee is seven bucks, but I apparently can get the fruit for free. I don't need any more fruit. Well, you don't need any more fruit, but you could take more. I wonder what we need to talk to Leroy about. He said something about Harbor Pass, so we might need to take that away from him somehow. Syringe? Door hinge? Yes, those are things that rhyme with orange. A seven dollar coffee. In Yelltown, seven dollars would buy you a coffee shop. Fair enough. So we're gonna go to the old man and offer him a really expensive and good cup of coffee in exchange for his, I don't know, gas station instant one. Oh, what is this? It's the Port Nicola Docks logo. Oh, this is where we need the harbor pass. There's an electric gate blocking the entrance to the dockyard. Please present your Port Nicola dockyard ID for access. Hmm. Hmm. Well, before we go back to the coffee guy, let's talk to Leroy again. Is this place... I don't get these city... Looks to be a converted warehouse. I guess most of the buildings down here have something to do with the docks. Is this place a rancid dive bar, or an extremely hip cafe? I don't get these city folks. Well, they like things that look decrepit, but sell really expensive things inside. Hey, Leroy! Hey, buddy! Still missing the old junkyard? Uh-huh. I'm ready to ship out. I got my harbor pass and everything, but I left my heart back in that Yeltown junkyard. You're a poet, Leroy. I gotta go. See ya, buddy! So I need to get his pass somehow. But I need to get him a junkyard? I, I, don't, I don't get it. Where am I gonna find a junkyard in a city? One artisan coffee for the price of only seven regular coffees. It's a steal! <laughs> the price of only seven regular coffees. Damn straight. Here you go, my man. Can I get your crap coffee? What's that? It's a coffee from the bar at the docks. You call that pretentious place a bar? There used to be a bar, until those snot-nosed teenagers moved in and ruined everything. I guess I'll keep the coffee then. Ah, I'll take it. Anything is better than that instant crap. Well, you're very welcome. I'll take care of the instant crap. Gladly. Enjoy your very expensive good cup of coffee that you keep complaining about. Crotchety old man. The only good thing about this dishwater is its caffeine content. It keeps you awake long enough to regret drinking it. Lovely. Do you, do you enjoy your coffee now? Hey, old timer. How you keeping? Well, 
The NSA ain't got to me yet. Small mercies, huh? I guess. So did we have enough ingredients to develop things? I kind of have to remember what I was doing. And Jennings aluminum-free baking powder. Ah, I prefer my baking powder more aluminy. aluminum -y. A magnifier for magnifying text. Or birdie ants, whatever floats your boat. The undeveloped negatives Ranger Jervis took in Yelltown. Ah, that's right. That's what I was doing. I need to develop these. Why do I have a bike pump? I have a bike pump, and nothing can stop me. Come at me, creepy yellow hazmat jerks. Are you going to blow up their their suits with your bike pump? I don't think Hallowell ever used this patch kit. Well, we're going to need to patch something. Hey, what's this? What's Aquila? Tired? Restless? Angry? You're not alone. The human mind is more powerful than the world's most sophisticated computer. The human body is more robust, more adaptable than our most advanced engineering. You, the person holding this leaflet, represent the pinnacle of evolution on this planet. So why do you feel powerless? We all feel powerless sometimes. Powerless, hunted, weak, but that's not the real you. Aquila can introduce you to your true, powerful self. People come to Aquila for many reasons. Some are students, some are successful business people, some are recovering from substance dependence. Whatever your reason for wanting to take control, Aquila can teach you what you need to take on the world. Are you ready to open your mind and discover your potential? Tell your Aquila contact you're ready to start living. Where did I get this from? Did I get this from the hippie chick or the library? I really don't remember. Some Port Nicola address. Scavenge? Lozenge? Gorange? Sporange? Sporange. Definitely sporange. Challenge! Uh, four inch. Okay, I'm done. No, we're not done. A juicy orange, packed with vitamin C. Why do they say nothing rhymes with orange? All the words rhyme with orange. Syringe? Door hinge? Definitely. So where do I need to do the developing? I can go to her place again and visit Hellowell and see what she's doing. Maybe she has some suggestions on uh, how to proceed. Honey, I'm home. Hey, Hellowell. Hey, Harp. Ever heard about an organization called Aquila? I have a hunch they're mixed up in this. Let's see. Let's see. Aquila is a constellation. At least two metal bands. And yeah, some kind of spiritual group in Port Nicola. Aquila. The path to enlightenment. Hmm. It might just be coincidence, but when Patty Silverdale first contacted me, she used the alias Eagle. And? Aquila is Latin for Eagle. Sorry, they didn't teach Latin at St. Steve's School for the Lazy and Shiftless. But, you know, Cardero was raving about eagles, too. In the cave. Maybe your hunch is worth following. Professor McBride used to work for RHC. Yeah, you didn't know that? I thought you and McBride were friends. You did know that? I'm a journalist. I do my research. Which reminds me, I found this article I thought looked useful. Thank you. I can't believe you didn't tell me. I can't believe you didn't tell me McBride worked for RHC! Well, he worked for one of the companies that formed RHC before the merger. It's not so strange, Harper. He's a research scientist, they're a major health corp. Yeah, but still, you know, right? You make an excellent point. Yeah, you know, what's so special about this article? What's so special about this article? It's from not long before the merger in 1992. Look at the picture. Ah, okay. So we need to find the location where this was in 1992. That's why we need to go to the library and access old records and get the address. Construction to begin on head office for Health Giant. The Rancho Health Corporation announced today that Port Nicola is to become home to its global headquarters. Striking design by Lamar and Green Architects promises to dominate the city's skyline. Dr. Patrick Rancho on the left. He looks very revolutionary. 
announced the corporation's plan to revitalize Port Nicholas' sprawling commercial warehouse district. Isn't that nice? So it was in the warehouse district. Port Nicholas' location, its university, and its pro-business tax policy make it the ideal home for an international corporation looking to the future. The CEO brushed off questions about RHC's recent layoffs of scientific staff, describing them as a regrettable but unavoidable consequence of restructuring. This move will go some way to quell rumors among business insiders that Rancho was planning to retire following the conclusion of the RHC merger. Judging by today's performance, Doc Rancho himself will be the will be captaining the co- the corporation well into the next millennium. All right. That's Rancho Sr. standing on the site of what was going to be the shiny new RHC headquarters here in Nicola. Except Rancho Sr. died. Junior took over, and the HQ never got built. So? Rancho Sr. clearly owned this property, but there's no real estate matching this description in RHC's public records. I figure RHC must hide their secrets somewhere. Why not in an HQ that never got built? You think RHC have a secret HQ here in Port Nicola? Nutty, right? But the more I find out about this story, the more I have to recalibrate my Kradar. So, how do we find this place? That's where things get sticky. Rancho Sr. and the architect in the picture are both dead, and there's no record of who took the photo. So, I bit the bullet and spent hours searching for Blue Warehouse Port Nicola. You know that Blue Warehouse is an adult video store, right? I do now. But look what I turned up. Huh. That does look like the same place. Can you work out where the site is, based on these pictures? Actually, I was hoping you could. I know it's not much to go on, but I have writing to do, and I'm basically warehouse blind at this point. Um, okay. I'll do my best. So you want me to track down this warehouse? If you can. RHC are hiding something. And I'll bet it's there. Enough about this. Enough about this. I think I might have an address for that secret RHC warehouse. All right. I knew you were smarter than you make out. Well, actually, it's an address for a nearby building. Here. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, that's the warehouse district. Yes! Look, it's still there! You did it, Harper! What? Do you want to get down there and, um, journalize? I think I can find the time. No way. I just chose things at random in that library. No way! No way! Well, it doesn't look like much, but it's definitely the building from the newspaper. You did good finding it. I'm impressed. Thanks. I'll try to get us in. And I'll try not to notice you committing criminal trespass and burglary. Cool. Cool. So, I did not expect to have chosen the right address. How did that happen? But I still want to do the developing part. I can't do them outside, I need a dark room. Oh well, I guess we'll do this later. What are you expecting to find in here? I don't know, but I pulled the plans for every single RHC site. This is the only one that doesn't appear on their records. Seems like a good place to keep secrets, right? Why do you keep calling them records? So this is where the RHC skyscraper was supposed to go. What are you expecting? Uh, but I... Seems like a good... Pl- yep, I recognize that logo. I don't. That's the Citron Media Building. Ah. Yep, I recognize that logo. What's this? Hmm, unsuccessful delivery? Okay, so they tried to deliver something here? Uh, years ago? Hmm... I can just about make out some kind of delivery code. What is this? Burrard. It looks a little old. Hmm. What is this? What is this? It'd be too much to hope they left it open. What is this place? It looks like a warehouse. What happened to the swanky office building they planned? It'd be too much to hope, then. What are you expecting? Uh, but I pulled the pl- Seems like a good pl- Well, I don't have much with me. USB stick. Oh, I don't remember any of these things in my inventory. The USB hacking device Hallowell gave me. I didn't know she was a cyber criminal. Oh, okay. 
hacking stuff. Cool. She gave us a bunch of photos to find this place, but apparently I found it already. Can I jimmy my way in? What tool would we use for this? Stop. The multi-tool. The multi-tool. I can't make those things work together. Easy does it. There we go. The knife. Yes! Harper, this is a felony. Let's go inside. Of course. Wow, I can't believe that crappy warehouse exterior concealed... A crappy warehouse interior? I thought RHC was some massive international corporation. How can this be the head office? Hmm. It's a front. That's why they put me on a telephone merry-go-round. RHC doesn't have a head office. But how can that be? Who planned the attacks? Where's that rancho guy? I don't know who's pulling the strings, but something tells me it's not Patrick Rancho. Let's look around. Do you have anything to say about this delivery notice? I'd rather not. Okay. Anything left in here? Anything in there? Yes! I found a pen! It's from the Port Nicholas Sailboat Marina. Cool. The marina. Hmm. So I guess we're gonna go there. What else? There's nothing left in the desk. Nothing left in the desk. What's this? The lights make it look like a TV studio. I recognize it. This is where Patrick Rancho used to do press conferences and satellite interviews. Patrick Rancho was part of an elaborately detailed facade. This is crazy! This is crazy good. What do you make of this place? I don't know what I was expecting, but not this. This confirms our worst fears about RHC. Someone somewhere is pulling the strings. Great, so you have said nothing and nothing. Oh, well, that's about it for this place. A pen and um, a, f a, f a fake podium thing for broadcasting. Hello, well. I think I've seen enough. Me too. The RHCHQ is an empty warehouse. The real power, the people behind Yelltown, they're somewhere else. And we're going to find them, pricks. Pricks. Hey, hello, L. Hey, Harp. Talk to you later. See ya, Harper. See ya. So where can I develop these things? Can I develop them in her bathroom? It's pretty dark in there. Yeah, maybe. Can I switch off the light? The light is dusty with the remains of incinerated moths. Poor little fellas. Poor little fellas. So let's take this tank and put it in the shower. I can't do that. Mm, I can't do that.